Welcome to the training module for the Clinical Leave Utility. Log in using your username and the temporary password that was provided to you. Upon login, go to the fourth menu item called Clinical Leave. This will bring you directly to the entry form for a new leave request. Below your name, select the type of leave, then select from the calendar the start and end date of your absence. Enter the total number of hours you will be needing coverage for. This is for use when you are requesting partial days and to identify shortened and extended workdays needing coverage. Then select who will be covering for you from the drop-down list. You may select one or many from this list. Sorting of names by location makes finding your colleague easier. By typing in the first few letters of their name, you can narrow your list to look through. Comments are optional, but can be used to explain your request for leave or elaborate on coverage. Upon submission, an email notification with all of this information will be sent to you, your selected coverage, your supervisor, any administrative contacts, and department leadership. Next, we'll go over the clinical leave reports. The clinical leave report is where you will find either your request for leave or leaves that you are assigned as coverage for. Your supervisor's report will include all of the above for all of their staff. This is also where you can update your requests. In the supervisor report, you will be able to see all of your active supervisors who will receive your requests. As a supervisor, this is where you will add or remove your staff. This completes the training for the clinical leave utility.